Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you? Fine, thanks. <laughs> okay, everybody, welcome once again. Let's do this. Um, I'm going to share the screen with you right now. So... Just a moment. Okay. There it is. And now the attendance. When you hear your name, let me know. Okay. Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Arles Ernesto López. Arles Ernesto López. Baudilio Elenilson Rivera Ramírez. Baudilio Elenilson Rivera Ramírez. Good evening, teacher. I am here. Good evening. Welcome. Okay, Carlos Alberto Santos just sent me a message. Welcome, Carlos. Carlos Edgardo Cruz Gonzalez. Carlos Edgardo Cruz Gonzalez. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. David Antonio Rosales García. Present teacher. Welcome. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Present teacher. Welcome. Ever Francis Alvallero. Ever Francis Alvallero. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Eder Taristides Oya Ruiz. Presente, teacher. Welcome. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. José Amilcar Reyes Cruz. José Amilcar Reyes Cruz. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. José Valentín Rivera López. José Valentín Rivera López. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Present, present teacher. Welcome. Juan Francisco Arrazábal Calderón. Juan Francisco Arrazábal Calderón. Karen Yulisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Karen Yulisa Vázquez de Aparicio. María de Lourdes Miroslava. Ok, welcome Karen. Thank you. María de Lourdes Miroslava Mansur Aguilar. Good evening teacher, I am here. Welcome. María Magdalena Cedillos González. Good evening, teacher. Present. Welcome. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Present, teacher. Welcome. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. 
Mónica Ivet Merino Rivas. Oscar Susana Castellano. Oscar Susana Castellano. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Will, perdón, Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Calling attendance again. Adán Iglesia Velázquez. Adán Present Iglesias. Chair. Okay, welcome. Um, Arles Ernesto López. Arles Ernesto López. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Present teacher. Welcome. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Present teacher. Welcome. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Ever Francis Alvallero. Ever Francis Alvallero. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. José Amilca Reyes Cruz. José Amilcar Reyes Cruz. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. José Valentín Rivera López. Juan Francisco Arrazábal Calderón. Juan Francisco Arrazábal Calderón. Mónica Ivet Merino Rivas. Mónica Ivet Merino Rivas. Oscar Susana Castellano. Oscar Susana Castellano. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Ok. Ok, ok. We have uh, messages from Edith Consuelo, Adán Iglesias, and Juan Carlos Portillo. Okay. Present Everybody. Teacher. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Uh, I have your attendance. Thank you. Okay, okay. All right. Okay, I'm calling attendance one more time at the end of the class. Everybody, welcome. This is Inglés Pre-Intermedio, Modulo 1, and that's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service. Once again, this is session 16, the last one, and today is August the 18th of 2023. Okay, so... What are we going to do? Well, we're going to review the quantifiers. That's the first thing. We're going to review the quantifiers and we're going to do some exercises. We're going to do the reading part. And after that, we're going to go through uh, the final exam. Okay, so that's today's agenda. Uh, grammar focus, quantifiers, that's 100% right there. You have all, okay, that's all is 100%, okay, all. Then you have nearly all, casi todos, okay? Nearly all, and most, la mayoría. So you say all families have only one child. All families. Nearly all families have only one child, China. And most families have only one child. Okay. So what about the next one? You have many, many, muchas. A lot of also means muchas. And some. Some families 
are smaller these days. Some is unas or algunas. So many families are smaller these days. A lot of families are smaller these days. And some families are smaller these days. For, further down the scale, we have uh, not many, which is no muchas, okay? A few, unas pocas, few, pocas, okay? So not many couples have more than one child. A few couples have more than one child, and few couples have more than one child. And the last one, no one. No one means nobody, zero, okay? No one gets married before the age of 18 in China. So uh, we have chat entries. Juan Francisco Arrazabal is here. Also, Jose Amilcar Reyes. Okay, thank you both. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Mm, just a moment. All right. So uh, let's continue. We have uh, this exercise. I don't know if you can see it. It's, it's kind of small. Rewrite these sentences about the United States using the quantifiers given. So what do you have? Let's uh, zoom in. You can see here where children go to school. 85% of the children go to public schools and 15% go to private schools. Okay. So you have the sentence here. 85% of children go to public schools. 15% of children go to private schools. So using the quantifier most, you say most children go to public schools. And what about the other one? Few. What do you have right there? If you want to participate, please raise your hand and uh, tell me your sentence. Maria de Lourdes. Well, Children go to private school. Few children go to private schools. Okay. Private yeah. School. That's only 15%. So few children go to private schools. Thank you, Maria Lourdes. That is correct. Let's take a look at the second one. Number two. What do we have? 65% of young people. Well, you have it here, right? What people do after they finish high school after they finish high school. So 65% of people go to college, 31% of people look for work, buscan trabajo, and 4% that's a different activity, other activity. We have a chat entry here. Franklin Delao is here. Welcome Franklin Delao. All right. So, um, 65% uh, of young people go to college after they finish high school. 31% of young people look for work. So what about this one? You have many. If you know, please raise your hand. Cecia. Um, many young people go to college after they finish high school. Many young people go to college after they finish high school. Okay, very good. Thank you, Cecia. And uh, what about the next one? You have some. If you know this one, raise your hand. Different participant. Ever Enrique. Some young people go to college. No, some young people look for work look for work mm -hmm. after they finish high school right so yeah some young people look for work after they finish high school yeah that's right okay thank you ever very good now number three you have what people 65 and over do 65 and over means 65 and older 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, etc., etc. So what people 65 and over do, 
okay? 95% talk, okay? 43% have a hobby and 8% spend their time on the internet. Okay, so that's the information. So number three, 95, I'm going to zoom out a little bit, 95% of people over 65 like to talk to family and friends. 43% like to spend time on a hobby. And 8% of people over 65 like to spend, like to spend, there's a problem here, like to spend, should be time on the internet. So uh, what about this one? Not many. If you know it, raise your hand, please. Let's participate. Cecia. Okay, um, not many. Mm -hmm. uh, not many people over 65 like to spend time on the internet. Okay, not many people over 65 like to spend time on the internet. Yeah. Yes. Correct, very good. Thank you, Cecia, very good. What about the second one? A lot of people over 65. So what do you have there? If you know, raise your hand, please. Somebody? Ever Enrique. A lot of people over 66 like to talk to family and friends. A lot of people over 65 like to, um, let's see. Well, it's probably not, it's a different one, okay? Because now if you take a look, you have a lot of, and then you have nearly all. Nearly all is casi todo. So it's a bit different. So what do you have, Ever? Maybe you can change it. A lot of mm -hmm. people. Over 65. Like to spend time on hobby. A lot of people over 65 like to spend time on a hobby. Yeah, that's correct. OK, thank you. Maria de Lourdes, the last one, please. Nearly all people over 65 like to spend time on talk. Like to talk to family and friends, right? Okay, so nearly all, all people over 65 like to talk to family and friends. Okay, thank you, Maria de Lourdes. Okay, everybody, thank you for your participation on this exercise. Let's continue. We did this yesterday, so we're not going to uh, do it again, okay? But we're going to do this other exercise. Now, you have this conversation. Complete this conversation, you have to use the present continuous of the verbs given. So this is a review on the present continuous. So it's a conversation between Joel and Don, and Joel says, uh, you look tired, Don, and then you have the verb study. It's a question. Are you studying late at night these days? So Don says, what does Don say? If you want to participate, raise your hand, please. Ever Enrique. No, I am not. No. My brother and sister are staying with me right now. We go to bed after midnight every night. Okay, but you forgot something very important. The verb be. My brother and sister are staying with me right now. My brother and sister. Back. Yeah. Okay, my brother and sister are staying with me right now. We go to bed after midnight every night. 
thank you. That is correct. So uh, what about the next one? You have two right there. So I need a volunteer. Joel says, really? Then there's a question after that. So who can tell me? Maria de Lourdes. Really? What did you do this summer? But you have to use present continuous only. What are you doing this summer? What are you doing this summer? Hmm? I am what, are, what are they thinking. doing? Sorry. Uh, what are they doing this summer? I'm sorry. I'm a bit tired today. <laughs> what are they doing this summer? Because you're talking about the brother and sister. So, um, uh, sorry to interrupt. Uh, what is it right here? Are you taking classes too? But we are talking about the brother and sister. And you see the answer is no, they aren't. So what is the correct form? We are talking classes it's, it's, too. Okay, it's a question. Are they taking classes they, too? Are they taking classes too? Okay, yeah, that's right. Are they taking classes too? And Don says, no, they aren't. Okay, I need a volunteer for this one. It's easy. Come on. Let's try. Maria de Lourdes. No, they aren't. My brother is on vacation now, but he is looking for a part-time job here. He is looking for a part-time job here. Okay, thank you, Maria de Lourdes. Very good. Eh, vamos los demás. Animémonos también a participar. Hagamos el esfuerzo. La última clase. Okay, uh, what about Joel? Joel says, uh, what about your sister? Yes, no question. Karen Julissa. What about your sister? Is working? You need the subject. Is? Is she working? Is she working? Yeah, that's right. What about your sister? Is she working? Okay, thank you. Then Don says, yes, she is. She has a part-time job at the university. What about you, Joel? Are you in school this summer? And Joel says, volunteer, please. Maria Magdalena. Yes, I am. I am studying two languages. I am studying two languages. Okay, good. I am studying two languages. Thank you, Maria Magdalena. Uh, Don says, oh, question. Cecia. Please repeat the pronunciation of languages. Um, languages. 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 Gracias. Languages. Okay, you're welcome. Two languages. So um, what does Don say? It's a question. Jose Amilcar. Oh, taking friends in Spanish again? You forgot two words. Faltaron dos palabras ahí.
Uh -huh. Dos palabras. Sí. Me dijo taking, ¿verdad? pero no solo puede ser taking. O solo eso se escuchó, no sé, a lo mejor fue un problema. Sí, técnico. no, 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 si eso dije. Ah, ok, ok. Sí. Remember, in a question you need first the verb be, then the subject, and then the verb in ing. Sorry. Like when you say, are they doing? Are they taking? Is she working? What Entonces, is it in this oh, case? Are, oh, are they, are they taking? But who is they? If you notice, Joel says, I am taking Spanish again. So Don is asking Joel directly. You what are? Aha, uh -huh. okay, you can say you are, but that is oh. affirmative. Mm -hmm. What is the question for? <laughs> help me. Okay, Cecia is going to help you. Oh, are you taking French and Spanish again? Are you taking French and Spanish again? Yeah, that's right. Are you taking? Are you? Mm -hmm. It's a question. So you say, are you taking French and Spanish again? Thank you, Jose Mirkar, and thank you, Cecia. Joel says, well, I'm taking Spanish again. Maria de Lourdes. But I am starting Japanese. I'm taking Spanish again, but I'm starting Japanese. And Don says, really? That's exciting. There you go. Everybody, thank you for your participation. Let's continue. Next exercise, vocabulary. Rewrite the sentences. Find another way to say each sentence using the words given. Example, Joseph is Maria's uncle. Okay, again, Joseph is Maria's uncle. Using the word niece, which is sobrina, you say Maria is Joseph's niece. Maria is la sobrina de Joseph. What about number two? Liz is married to Peter. You have to use the word husband. Cecia. Peter is Liz's husband. Peter is Liz's husband. That is correct. Thank you, Cecia. Very good. Number three. Isabel is Frank's and Lisa's granddaughter. You have to use the word grandparents. Okay, uh, Cecia. Um, entiendo. Perdón. Frank and Lisa are grandparents to Isabel. Well, okay, but let's use this apostrophe S to show direct relationship. So you say Frank and Lisa are. Frank and Lisa are Isabel's grandparents. That is correct. Okay, Frank and Lisa are Isabel's grandparents. Frank and Lisa son los abuelos de Isabel. Yes. Okay, sí. thank you, thank you. All right, uh, number four. We have two children. And then you have in parentheses, son and daughter. Maria de Lourdes. They are. No, they they have they are or son and daughter. Okay, they are our son and daughter. I guess it is possible. I have a different version, but yours sounds okay. It's good. 
I have right here, we have a son and a daughter. But yeah, they are our son and daughter. You can say that. Okay, good. Thank you. Number five, my wife's father is a painter. Again, my wife's father is a painter. You have to use the word father-in-law. Tiene que participar alguien que no me haya participado. Al menos para este ejercicio. Volunteer, please. Let's do this. Come on. My wife's father is a painter. Then you have father-in-law. It's very easy. Who wants to try? Mm -hmm. Who wants to try? Maybe Adán Iglesias, or Baudilio Lenilson, or Carlos Edgardo, or David Antonio, Edith Consuelo, Erika Beatriz, maybe, Ever Enrique, Franklin de la O, maybe, Ever Taristides, Juan Carlos Portillo, Juan Francisco Rosabal, Mauro Orlando Vázquez, Oscar Susana, maybe, Saúl Ernesto, Somebody? Baudilio, thank you. Hi. Uh, my father-in-law is a painter. Easy, right? My father-in-law is a painter. Yeah. Very easy. Quería que los demás participaran, Tisha. Okay. All right. Pero no se animan. Number six. Michael does not have a job right now. Okay. Michael does not have a job right now. And then you have look for. This time you have to use present continuous. Enrique. Presente teacher. I hear. Hi. I'm taking your attendance now. Okay. Also, I, welcome. I also saw Erika Beatriz here. Okay. Uh, do you want to participate? No. Okay. Um, who, who can tell me the last one? You have to use look for using the present continuous. Okay, Baudilio is going to help us again. Baudilio? Michael doesn't look for how uh, job right now. Mm, not exactly. When you say Michael does not have a job right now, it's Michael no tiene trabajo ahorita. Then you have look for means buscar. So what is he doing? So no, That's look for? Uh -uh, no, use present continuous. Michael, que no tiene trabajo, está buscando. Entonces, ah, Michael uh -huh. is looking. Uh -huh. Looking for? Uh -huh. A job right okay. now. Michael is looking for a job right now. That is correct. Okay, thank you. Very good. Michael is looking for a job right now. Okay. Um, let's continue. All right, over this section right here, lesson objective. Um, in this lesson, participants will read an article about families and their changes. En esta clase, los participantes leerán un artículo sobre familias y sus cambios. So uh, that's the final part in the platform. 
So you have the change in family. I am going to read the introduction and then you are going to help me read the five cases for these people. So this is the family, right? The Morales, okay, that's the last name, the Morales family. So everybody take a look, I'm going to read. American families are changing. One important change is that most married women now work outside the home. What happens when both parents work? Read about the Morales family. Judy and Steve Morales have three children. Josh, 12, Ben, nine, and Emily, six. Steve is a computer programmer. This year, Judy is working again as a hospital administrator. The family needs the money and Judy likes her job. Everything is going well, but there are also some problems. Before we continue, do you have any questions about the vocabulary in the introduction? Any questions? No questions here? Okay, then. No question, teacher. Thank you. All right, I need a volunteer to read the first case, okay? Only this. Cecia, thank you. Um, now that Judy is working, Steve has to help her more with the housework. He doesn't enjoy it. Yeah, thank you. Now that Judy is working, Steve has to help her more with the housework. He doesn't enjoy it. Okay, he doesn't like it. Do you have any questions about this part? No questions. Enrique, help me read no you this part, please. Okay. Uh, Judy love her core, but she feel too tired and bad. Busy. She, busy. She asks more about the children. Judy has to go for in Saturday. So Stephen and Judy don't have a lot of free time together. Okay, thank you. Judy loves her work, but she feels too tired and busy. She also worries about the children. Judy has to work on Saturdays, so Steve and Judy don't have a lot of free time together. That's a problem. Do you have any questions about the second part or the second situation here? Vocabulary? David. What the meaning of um, busy? Busy. You have many things to do. For example, I say, I get up very early in the morning at four. I take a shower. I make breakfast. After that, I go to work. After that, I work on reports. And then I do this and I do that. I go back home and I continue with the reports and I have to make dinner. So that's a busy person. A busy person has many things to do. Do you understand? Busy means ocupado, right? Ocupada. Thank you, okay. busy. You're welcome. All right, so um, the next one, Emily. Maria de Lourdes. Emily is having a great time in her after school program. When Judy comes to pick her pick her up, she doesn't want to leave. Yeah, thank you. Emily is having a great time in her after school program. When Judy comes to pick her up, she doesn't want to leave. Do you have any questions about this photograph here? Any questions? No questions? I can't believe it. No le creo. Uh -huh. <laughs> no What's the meaning of 
pick her up. Pick her up. Recoger. Pick her up. Pick up ¿Cómo? means recoger. So when Judy comes ah. to pick her up, cuando Judy pasa a recogerla al colegio, no quiere ir. She doesn't want to leave, no quiere ir. Okay, so, yeah, because she's having a lot of fun in her after school program. So, yeah, thank you. Then uh, the next one, volunteer, please. Karen Julissa. Uy, no miro. <laughs> Dice. Unfortunately, Ben's school doesn't have um after school program. Right now, he's spending most afternoon in front on the TV. Thank you. Unfortunately, Ben's school doesn't have an after school program. Right now, he's spending most afternoons in front of the TV. That's a problem. Uh, any questions about the vocabulary here? Do you have any questions about the vocabulary? Maria de Lourdes? What is the meaning of um, unfortunately? Unfortunately means desafortunadamente. Unfortunately. Thank you. You're welcome. Unfortunately. Saul. His music. Ah, you, you want to read this? Okay, please. Do, do you want to read? Just enjoying. Ah, Josh is enjoying. No sé si tiene una duda o si quiere ayudarnos a leer. Puede decir este, donde dice his music louder, louder. Louder, ok. Louder means más fuerte. Saúl, can you help us read the final paragraph, please? Vamos a quebrar. Or somebody else, Maria Magdalena? Okay. Joy is enjoying his new freedom. After school, he's playing his music louder and spending more time on the phone. He is also doing a few uh, household, ¿qué vamos House, a pronunciar? Ha, ha, household. Household. Chores. Okay, thank you. Josh is enjoying his new freedom after school. He's playing his music louder and spending more time on the phone. He's also doing a few household chores. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary here? Cecia. What the meaning of louder? Louder, uh, más fuerte. Más fuerte, más duro. El volumen. That's uh, louder. Playing is como tocando su música más fuerte. Not necessarily. When you have an instrument, yeah, you play music. But uh -huh. if you don't have an instrument, you play a CD or you play the uh -huh. MP3 or you play the track on uh, uh -huh. what is the name of this, the streaming services, etc., etc. So I'm yeah, spending more time in the spending, spending, spending. But the meaning of spending. The meaning of spending. Spend means gastar or pasar. Ah. Also pasar. In this case, he is spending more time on the phone. Está pasando más tiempo en el teléfono, right? Okay. Um, he the uh, also doing a few. Uh, household chores. Chores, I don't know. 
household chores are the things that you do in the house. Sweeping, mopping the floor, cleaning, doing the dishes, washing the clothes, etc., etc. Those are the household chores, las tareas de la casa. Y también hace algunas tareas en la casa. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. You're welcome. All right, let's uh, do this. We don't have much time, so, okay, we just, number one. This is the reading exercise, the changing family, 5.11. Section 5.11. So, which children are benefiting from Judy working? Which children are benefiting from Judy working? Cecia. Ben. Mm -hmm. ben. Only Ben. Only Ben. Only Ben. Uh, but, sorry, Ben. There's another one. Ay, no. Josh and Ben. Josh and Ben and Josh. <laughs> Josh and Ben. No, not exactly. I mean, Josh is correct, but not Ben. Uh, Emily is having a great time. <laughs> uh huh. So yeah, that means it is Emily and ah. Josh. Okay, Emily and Josh. Okay, good. Um, uh, number two. Which child is not benefiting from Judy working? Okay, another volunteer. Another volunteer. Maria de Lourdes. Ben. It's Ben. Yeah, correct. Ben is not benefiting. Okay, good. Thank you very much, Maria de Lourdes. Number three. Which family member is enjoying more freedom? Saul. Josh. It's Josh. Yeah, that's right. It's Josh. Very good. Thank you. Number four, which family members are doing more housework? Maria de Lourdes. Steve. And? For me, only Steve. Only Steve. There's but, another one. The exercise, mm. and Judy. And Judy. Mm, no, it's not Judy. Oh, thank you. Karen Julissa. OK, you told me Steve, right? That's correct. But who's the other person? Josh. And Josh, correct. Steve, in this case, you have Steve has to help her more with the housework. And Josh? He is also doing a few household chores. So, yeah. Thank you. Number five, which family member feels too busy? Maria Lourdes. Judy. Judy, that's correct. It's Judy. Thank you very much. Mom. <laughs> <laughs> it's the mom. Yeah, I know. Okay. So, all right, with that, we finished section number five, and now we only have one more thing to do, is the final exam, okay? We have a chat entry here. Ever Francis Alvallero is here, okay? Ever Francis, we're taking your attendance. Ever Alvallero. Okay, I'm gonna call some names. Let's see. Um, Jose Benjamin Gavidia Guevara, are you here? Jose Benjamin Gavidia Guevara? No. Nope. Monica Ivette Merino? Are you here? Monica Ivette Merino. Oscar Susana Castellano? Oscar Susana? Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez? Como lo que fuera detenido. Oscar presente, teacher. Perdón, ahí está distraído. Ok, ok, thank you. Uh, Santos Mauricio Arias, Valle. Santos Mauricio Arias, Valle. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. No, ok, calling attendance at the end. 
Um, so uh, listening part, we're going to do the listening section, listen to the conversation and select the correct answer. I'm going to play it. Let me know if you can hear it. Tell me about your family, Catherine. Can you hear that? Okay, here we go. So Catherine has four, seven, nine brothers and sisters. Nowadays, Mark is living at home with a friend or with his wife. Let's listen to this. Tell me about your family, Catherine. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Well, I have four sisters, Annette, Sarah, Jill, and Liza. Wow, that's great. And do you have any brothers? Yes, I have three brothers, Ed, Mark, and Sam. And we all eat dinner together each night, all my brothers and sisters and my parents. How fun. It's like having a party every night. Yeah, I guess it is. Two. Hi, Mark. Okay, uh, before that, just let me check animations. Oh, yes, there's an animation here. Uh, okay, going back. So, uh, how many brothers? How many brothers and sisters does Catherine have? If you know the answer, please tell me. Maria Magdalena? Four. Four. Do you have four? Or did I make a mistake? Let me check. Does everybody have four? Let me see. Okay, uh, let's listen again, just very quickly. Cecia? The microphone? Seven brother and sister. Seven brothers and sisters, okay? Yeah, it's more like seven, they said, okay. Uh, number two, let's listen to this. Nice to see you again. Okay. Hey, where are you working now? I'm working. I guess it uh, is. Okay, number two. Two. Hi, Mark. Nice to see you again. Hey, where are you working now? I'm working full-time for a newspaper. I'm a photographer there. Wow, that's interesting. Are you still living at home? No, I'm not. I'm living in an apartment with Jim. He's an old friend from school. So you're not married? No, not right now. But I am getting married this summer. Congratulations. Thanks. Okay, so nowadays, Mark is living at home with a friend or with his wife. Erika. Good evening. Uh, Good evening. Sería with a friend. With a friend. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, he's living with a friend. Okay, good. Uh, now we have to listen to the rest of it. Okay. Number three, oops, number three. Um, let's listen to number three. Three. How often do you exercise, Sharon? Well, I go jogging about twice a week. Oh, really? And do you ever go to the gym? Yes, I usually go on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Wow, how long do you spend there? Mm, around two or three hours each time I go there. Well, you're not a couch potato. That's for sure. Okay, Sharon usually goes to the gym on Thursdays, twice a week, or three times a week. Raise your hand if you know the answer, please. Saul, then Ever, and then David. Three times a week. Three times a week. Yeah, that's correct. Good. Thank you. Number four. Let's listen to the conversation. Four. Listen to this, Kylie. It says here, in Australia, most married couples have children. Oh, that's true. My parents have two kids, my sister and me. In my country, we have really big families. There are 12 people in my family. That's amazing. And are they all living at home? Well, some of my younger brothers and sisters are still in school and living at home with my parents. A few of us older ones are married with children. Are you all living in the same town? No. My two older brothers are single and working abroad, but the others live near our parents in the same town. 
Okay. What is the answer? Number four. Ever Enrique. Are working abroad. Are working abroad, that's the answer in the platform. But in reality, okay, what they said is that some of the men's younger brothers and sisters are in school. Okay, that's the real answer. But in the platform, this is the one that it takes as correct. So you have to use this one. Okay, but in reality, it's this one right here, are in school. Okay, so careful there. Okay, but thank you. Thank you very much. Complete the conversations, part B. Instructions, complete the sentences with do, does, or would. What about number one, David? Do you like to see a movie tonight? Do you like? Mm, it's not do. It's an invitation. So what is the correct form? Maybe somebody can help us. Does. Does you like? Mm, not possible. No, sorry. Hello. It is different. Okay, the answer is would, right? Would you like to see a movie tonight? It's an invitation. So would you like, te gustaría, would you like to see a movie tonight? The other person says, sure. What time does it start? Okay, uh, what about number two? Who can tell me? Maria de Lourdes. Do you like horror movies? No, not really. Okay, thank you. That's correct. Do you like horror movies? Okay, good. Thank you, Maria Lourdes. Number three. Who has number three? Number three. No volunteers. Okay, here's the answer. What kind of music does your friend Ricardo like? Rock and classical, I think. Moving on, complete the conversations. Complete the following conversations. Use the present continuous of the verbs, okay? So how is your sister? You have study these days. It's a question, so what's the question? How is your sister? If you know, raise your hand and participate, please. Cecia and then Eva. She is studying this day. It's a question. So. Let's see, maybe Ever can help us, Ever. Is she studying? Is she studying these days? Correct, because it's a question, right? Is she studying these days? Thank you. Number two, you have no, she isn't. She has this one. Maria Lourdes. She is working as a cashier at a grocery store. She's working as a cashier at the grocery store. That's correct. Thank you, Maria Lourdes. Number two, two A. It's that David over there. Mm -hmm. Saul? A David over there. Who is he waiting? Who is he waiting for? Okay, correct. Is yeah. Is that David over there? Who is he waiting for? Yes, I guess that David is esperando, right? Who is he waiting for? And then you have uh, his girlfriend, Maggie. Who has it? Maria Magdalena. Or not? No veo, profe. Ah, okay. Súbalo un poquito, por favor. Dice, his girlfriend 
Maggie, she is coming in on the bus. She is coming in on the bus. Okay, yeah, that's correct. Very good. Listen, it's already eight, so we're going to go over this very quickly. Multiple choice, okay? Instructions, choose the correct word. Jay does, you don't need to raise your hand. No necessary levantar la mano. So Jay does yoga, football, or jogging? Yoga. Okay, yoga. Yeah, that's correct. Does yoga every morning before breakfast. Number two, how often do you go, do, or play swimming in the summer? What is that? Go, go. Go swimming in the summer. Correct. And the last one, I sometimes play inline skating, aerobics, or baseball with my friends. What is that? Baseball. Okay, with my friends. Correct. And the last exercise is the reading, Audrey Tutu. Okay, so Audrey Tutu is a young French actress. She has fans around the world. Here are some interesting things about Audrey's life and career. 1978, Audrey is born in Beaumont, France. 1980s and 1990s, Audrey acts in plays, acts in plays, I'm sorry, especially comedies in high school. After that, she goes to acting school. She wins the prize, Best Newcomer for her acting on French TV in 1999. 2000 to 2002, Audrey acts in many movies, including, uh, this is French, I don't know how to pronounce it, 2000. Then she plays a young woman called Amélie in a movie of the same name. Amélie, 2001, is in French, but the film is a big international hit. Audrey becomes popular in many countries, including the United States. Audrey also acts in a film call, called God is Great, I'm Not. That's in 2002. 2003, Audrey has a big year. She acts in The Spanish Apartment and He Loves Me, He Loves Me Not. She also acts in Dirty Pretty Things. This is the first time she speaks English in a movie. So number one, in high school, Audrey to do acts in, in plays, plays on in television plays. or in movies in plays that's correct number two many americans like the movie what movie amelie amelie okay it's amelie number three audrey acts in three movies in hundred on three 203. It's not 200, but 2000. Last three. 2003. Okay. And the last one in her movies, Audrey usually speaks English, French. Sorry, English, Spanish, or French? French. 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 That is correct. With that, we finished, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just going to call attendance for the last time and uh, we're done. Arles Ernesto. Is Arles here? Apparently not. Okay. Um, Ivan Alexis, no. Jose Benjamin Gavidia. Is Jose Benjamin Gavidia here? No. Uh, Jose Valentin Rivera is not here. Monica Yvette Merino. Is Monica Yvette Merino Rivas here tonight? Salvador Manrique Hernandez Vasquez. No. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Santos Mauricio Arias. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. No, it's not here. Nuevamente, muchas gracias a todos por la oportunidad, ¿verdad? De, bueno, yo he tenido la oportunidad, ¿verdad? De, de, de ser su instructor una vez más. Y pues les agradezco mucho por toda la paciencia, la dedicación y el empeño que han demostrado a lo largo del nivel. Y nuevamente les invito a que pues siempre hagamos el esfuerzo por seguir aprendiendo, ¿verdad? Y no se descuiden. Esto del inglés es largo, es un aprendizaje, una vez ustedes empiezan, es un aprendizaje de por vida, ¿verdad? Así que eh, síganse esforzando mucho, ¿verdad? Y eso sería todo de mi parte.
por este nivel. Thank you. Bien, teacher. Congratulations. Gracias, teacher. Thank Gracias, you. teacher. No, no, no why, but thank you. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Take care. Good night. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Good night. Take care.